Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. Today I'm going to start hardening off my fall seedlings. I am so excited. <laughs> So I'm gonna put these seedlings behind the herbs, um, in between the herbs, well, mint and the flower bed so that they don't get a whole bunch of sun and they're shaded by the herb plants. So these seedlings that I ended up having to kind of replant, restart, I'm gonna leave them inside. Um, I'm gonna maybe start hardening them off next week sometime. I'm hardening off the Brussels sprouts because they've pretty much bounced back now. Um, and I think that it's a good time to start hardening them off and getting them planted out too. And in an attempt to uh, keep the cabbage white moth off, I'm going to throw some tool over top of those plants um, and hopefully they will stay off. I normally cover the beds with tool once I get them planted out. So I assume this should work. <laughs> also, I think by having them by these uh, herbs that maybe that will keep them away from the plants too. Maybe they'll be confused by the smell of this amazing lemongrass. Do you guys remember when we cut this? It's not lemongrass, it's lemon balm. Do you guys remember when we cut this down together? It has grown back and it smells amazing. <laughs> All right, so it is like daytime with the sun, but I'm gonna have to do this video in that time frame because I have a friend who's getting married today and her wedding starts at three and of course I have to get dressed and all of those things. But I'm gonna do a small garden tour. Um, well, last garden tour of the summer because the next time you see this garden, it's going to look much different. I also have some things that I can harvest. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest those things as well with you today while we go through this tour. Okay, so I wanted to start on the outside of the garden just to show you all this loofah. And there is one pretty flower on the other side. It's too high up for me to get a picture of it, but it's a loofah vine. And you know, I talk about the loofah all the time because it didn't give me any loofah this year. I am not giving up. Next year, I will be planting loofah again um, and seeing maybe what I'm doing wrong, uh, researching it over the off season in the winter. And so it's still very pretty. It's, it's still a very pretty walk into the garden. The amaranth is still looking beautiful. I have to look to see when I'm supposed to harvest uh, the seeds. I'm sure I'm not gonna get much of anything off of it. It's just interesting that, you know, you can get grain from this plant and um, you can use it. Look at this guy, just all over the asparagus. <laughs> But someone was like, don't let them have babies. Like definitely past that point, they are everywhere. The cherry tomatoes are still growing. Uh, we have a few that we can harvest this morning. I believe that is a sun gold. Um, and so they're still growing. I'm gonna grab some of the more orange ones. I'm gonna taste one. They've been really sweet all summer. So, and I just watered, so maybe it won't be as sweet, but Very sweet. I'm gonna eat this one too. <laughs> Sun gold tomatoes are so sweet. Rarely make it into the house when I'm harvesting them. <laughs> and that's a sun peach. Also sweet. Not nearly as sweet as the sun gold, but still really sweet. That's delicious. That's a super sweet 100. I haven't had a lot of luck with those this year. Um, well, I haven't had luck with them before at all, but they're sweet, but not as sweet as the other two varieties that I'm growing. So the cherry tomatoes are still growing. I'm gonna leave them because I'm gonna plant down here. I'm gonna plant some uh, kale and probably collards over here, but they have time to grow and I can still leave these cherry tomatoes. So I won't, I probably will not be pulling these at the beginning of September. And these are the La Cienado kale that were already eaten up that we moved the other day. Um, the, the pests have just continued to eat them up. <laughs> um, this is a kale variety too, but that one's not looking too bad. So I'm leaving, I'm leaving all of them. This is one that we moved 
but if you see right there there's a new leaf growing so i'm just leaving it we'll see what happens i will keep you posted <laughs> the pepper plants are still doing amazing uh the pepper row when you walk into the garden we have some that need to be harvested so we'll go ahead and harvest those together there's so many different varieties mostly sweet the only hot i have is cayenne and jalapeno so we have a few i believe this is the uh plant that i was saying i didn't know what it was i had labeled it as a large red pepper so i was thinking it was a large red bell pepper pretty sure they're Jimmy Nardello's. These are delicious uh, peppers. And so if you did not grow them this year or you've never grown them before, you should give them a try. I mean, they are so sweet and so delicious. I normally like put a little bit of egg and some flour on them and just pan um, sear them, but I'm pretty sure they would be good in a dish or anything. Uh, very good peppers. So got two off of that one. There is a little bit of uh, maybe some type of disease or even sun skull i'm not really sure i'm just gonna cut around it and i'm still gonna eat it <laughs> my peppers are much bigger than they were last year my peppers last year were like half this size um and so i had said it earlier um in a video that i think it's because i changed the soil that i used um i made a soil mix with um kellogg soil black cow and I put some perlite in the bag. I do think that helped um, with the size of my peppers this year. If you remember, I harvested peppers a little while ago, probably like a week or two ago. So there's not a lot of peppers on here, but what is on here, I'm going to take them. <laughs> I am trying not to look super hot, <laughs> but I am super hot. I know you guys can see like the sweat kind of glistening. I'm trying not to look hot, but I am hot. <laughs> also, um, here are some paste tomatoes from an indeterminate from an indeterminate plant that is still growing. So um, I'm gonna leave those too. I am thinking though, by September one, I am gonna pull these out um, just because I kinda need the space. Although there's a lot of room at the bottom because I pulled most of the bottom leaves. Um, and so I may be able to plant my fall vegetables in between. It'll give them a little bit of shade. The only thing is I won't be able to put the tool up. So I'm still thinking about that, but we got some more tomatoes. And over on this side, we have a few tomatoes that are blushing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those as well. These are determinant varieties. And they're also a paste. I think those are Roma tomatoes. We have a few, I believe these are Cherokee purple much smaller than they were earlier in the season still edible tomatoes go ahead and grab these these two are in bags in the back there were four back here before um and two of them bit the dust and so i went ahead and pulled them but i left these because they are still growing i remember i planted a, a new planting of beans and so i wanted to show you we have beans starting to grow this will be like a fall planting of beans and they are going on up the trellis. The cucumbers are still trying. I don't know if they're bitter or not. I haven't had a cucumber in days at this point, maybe even weeks, but they are still growing. So I am continuing to harvest them. Nice size. Again, don't know what they taste like. <laughs> So um, I open a P.O. box. So if you want to send me a card, send me a letter, send me anything, you can do that now. Um, someone had asked, and so I went ahead and opened it. Um, and I appreciate anything that anyone sends me. So the asparagus is still trying to take over everything. This one has fallen over. There's some more back there. And so I'm going to get some string today or tomorrow and string it back up. I'm probably not going to cut it anymore. Just going to let it do what it does until the end of the season. These poor little potatoes, uh, they have fought the mice. They have fought the asparagus that keeps falling over on them. I am just watering them at this point. Uh, I doubt there's many potatoes in this bag, but uh, we will see what's in there when the season has come to an end. Here's another tomato. It is a white variety. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that too. So the tomato plants over here that's by the shed, uh, there is probably time to pull them. Um, I don't think there's any other tomatoes on these plants right here. 
there aren't and this is the top of it so chances of it growing anything else is slim to none so i'm probably going to pull those this weekend there's a few tomatoes still left over here and they're actually starting to blush so i'll be pulling them in the neck not this one so much but i'll be pulling these in the next few days there's one down there but i think they've they've done their their job for the season and i'm going to let them let them rest <laughs> The cantaloupe there is one right here there's one over there the two that were at the bottom have fallen my daughter has eaten them both in one sitting and so i'm waiting for at least this one not sure if that one is going to ripen but i'm waiting and then i'm going to pull those out i imagine that one will be ready in the next seven to ten days i watered not too long ago so these are the carrots that had good germination. Um, they should start to stand back up as the day goes by. Um, these are more potatoes that I planted out, looking much better than potatoes. The potatoes on the other side that I just showed you, um, that's the carrot bag that I have not reseeded yet, uh, but there's still some carrots in there. And then this is the tomatoes that's over by the bean trellis. Um, and so there's one tomato. I've harvested probably four or five out of this area uh, this week, but that's looking pretty terrible too. <laughs> and so the eggplant have given me eggplants this season and it's been a good eggplant season. They have very much been devoured by the flea beetles, but they are still trying. You can see there's flowers on here. I'm just gonna leave them because I'm not gonna use this bed um, over the fall anyway. So I'm just going to let them continue to grow. Um, there is actually an eggplant right there. I doubt you all can see it because of where I have the camera set up. But um, And then there's one there too. So I've still been fertilizing them and watering them just like I am doing everything else. Um, I'm not a big sprayer of things. I don't spray pesticides for sure. I don't even use much pest control if I'm honest. Um, and so I just kind of let my plants grow. I'm not telling anybody else to do that. Um, and I know someone will probably say what I can do to avoid this. I just don't. Um, and the plants are still producing. I am not one of those people who have to have like the prettiest plants. Um, it, it's just not who I am. It's not the type of gardener I am. So if you want to leave comments below to help others who maybe do want to spray, um, or do something for pest control, go right ahead and leave it in the comments below because it could help someone else. The eggplant bed, I left um, the marigold plant that was in there because it's just so big and it's so beautiful and it has um, a lot of new buds coming. And since I don't need this space, I figured I would leave it, uh, help the pollinators out. And it's also just very pretty. I also left the marigolds that's by the cucumbers and by the sweet potatoes um, because I'm not going to be using this bed in fall either. And there's some basil that I left over here as well. The sweet potatoes are still looking very green and like they're growing something. But I dug down into that bed just to see and I didn't find one sweet potato. So someone did tell me I can eat the sweet potato leaves and that is probably what I will end up harvesting from this space because I don't think there is one sweet potato. But of course, when I go to harvest those sweet potatoes, I will record it and you will see with me whether there are sweet potatoes or not. <laughs> A second wave of squash is is squash vine boar heaven look at that and it is on the ground i don't see it re rooting anywhere doesn't mean that it doesn't work but literally all of these plants are squash vine boar heaven at this point the one back there this one not so much so i'm cool with that i'll leave it but there's a squash bug too see it and there are some squash bug eggs. I just don't have much luck with squash. And it's cool. I get a lot of other vegetables. Um, squash aren't that expensive if I want to go and grab some from the grocery store. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. The dahlias are starting to make their appearance. It's so pretty. I love dahlias. I have them over here. This is over in the bean bed. Um, these were just some plants that they, they were extras. And so I planted them over here um, and they are starting to produce dahlias for me. There are some more that are starting to open over here. And I don't know 
varieties because I bought a mixed pack. Um, and so I don't know what varieties those are, but I just know that they're very pretty. There's another one that's growing. So very pretty dahlias down here. There's more dahlias growing too. So I'm excited about that. The mint and the herbs that's in the back towards the flower bed, they are looking a little sad, like they just wanna, they just wanna be left alone. And that's the other side. The lemon balm is looking good. The chamomile, not so much, but I'm gonna replant that. And so when it gets cooler, I'll plant it out again. And that's more mint back there. Um, I kind of just left it to its own devices, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of my fault. <laughs> Look at these pretty little flowers. Pretty sure they are scabiosa. I get them and gumfrina mixed up, but I think that is scabiosa. <laughs> we are gonna end this tour over in the orchard area. Um, and so these are the daisies that I had cut back. This daisy is dying. I did not actually get any more uh, daisies off of these plants, but maybe in the fall I will. Um, the roses are looking beautiful. I don't know how many times they've bloomed this summer but they've been beautiful the whole time. <laughs> uh, this lavender, I am supposed to cut it. I don't know how to trim lavender. It is all over the place. Um, I did get some lavender earlier in the year, but uh, at this point, I, I think I have to trim it and I have to figure out how to do it. <laughs> the uh, raspberries are growing, but dying because I don't come out here to harvest them as I should, but they are growing. Oregano. Comfrey, I cut that back way back and um, maybe not a good idea, but I already did it. <laughs> Sage, thyme, apple, no, peach tree, uh, apple tree over there. And I know everybody was waiting for me to do something to this apple tree and I have. I pulled off all of the leaves that was diseased um, and I also cut the tree back a little bit. And so that tree is looking much better than it has all season long. <laughs> Um, and then you have the marjoram down there. This is the rosemary that I started from seed. I hope you all can see it. I started that rosemary from seed. So I'm thinking in the next few years, I'm gonna get a nice little rosemary plant that I can say I started from seed on my own. <laughs> Grapevine has like two grapes on it. Gotta do more research on that next year. Um, that comfrey is not looking good, but they come back every year, so I'm not worried about it. And there's more comfrey down here and some more sage. So thanks for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. I am going to start getting my life together so that I can go celebrate my friend's wedding. They've been together since like right after we finished high school. We've been out of high school for over 20 years. And so this is like an amazing day and I'm mean, so excited for them. Um, and so everyone have a wonderful week. I'll see you on Wednesday. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Miss MS Asia Spratly, where I post about the things going on in the garden every day. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.